to them have a mustache it's because it's uh, November everybody every man should have a mustache in November but anyway today I'm going to talk about trailer scores uh, I haven't done so many uh, trailer scores I have done some few uh, in my spare time uh, away from doing uh, this uh, composing work you know but anyway uh, I took the liberty of um, uh, the score for Thor. I uh, downloaded the trailer uh, and tried to rescore it and make a trailer score to sell later. So I'm going to show you my approach uh, for this project. And another thing is uh, I use Spitfire um, like. I think it's 93% uh, uh, of my template, it's Spitfire. It's one thing um, that it's uh, like bothering me big time. It's that it, uh, it you really should need a power horse computer to make stuff like I do right now. So I'm saving up for uh, a slave uh, computer uh, I have everything planned out uh, to buy it soon enough. Uh, it's just a matter of my next uh, income and payment. As you know, it's uh, hard to be a composer. But anyway, I'm going to talk about some frequencies, uh, how to layer stuff out uh, so it's not in your face, but it's more landscape it out. That uh, some part of the Spitfire stuff uh, got a very high mid range because of the uh, reverb um, in the Lindhorst uh, air hole where it's uh, sampled. So you need to take down uh, s some of that to make uh, the percussion shine away. And there again, you have to lower some low ends on the percussion and bring up some mid range and take down some high frequency to uh, really make it shine. And it's all about compress uh, compressors and uh, f and equalizers to make them uh, yeah uh, fit together like glow. And uh, one more thing is uh, I use uh, Omnisphere uh, this time for uh, for uh, some uh, yeah like textures uh, leads and stuff like that. So. Uh, as this project uh, is killing my computer right now, I had to export out the uh, the audio, um, so I have to bring that audio in. But I'm going to show you my uh, steps uh, through there. So I see you in uh, my screen cap, and I will talk to you more there. Thanks. Hi guys. So now we are inside the project. I'm just going to uh, run through the trailer. I'm going to use the exported file because uh, my computer uh, pops and we get clicks and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that first and I'm going to go uh, a bit deeper inside uh, this whole mess. So let's find the video here. Uh, I'm going to put it down here so you could see it. Enjoy!
So that's uh, as far as I've gotten. Uh, but I have uh, some good plans. And, uh, and the score, uh, the trial score is uh, not even done yet because I'm going to go inside and fine adjust everything so it gets even more perfect. So first off, let's unmute like this. And let's uh, go inside. So what to start with? Yeah, I could do the I could do the synths. So here are the synth patterns. Holycom Mol um, is a quite uh, nice patch. I, ha I run it through some more uh, FX sense. I think it's Fab Filter Saturn and some um, taps a delay like tape. <laughs> inception it's I think it's fits quite well so if you see it here and here so that fits quite well and here comes the quiet part with Natalie Portman to make it more intense yes so I'm going to move to some of the strings uh, this is Albion uh, and this is uh, quite plain it's uh, some brassy stuff woodwinds low and high <laughs> quite basic and here comes my favorite it's the sable the, the package tree I, I just love it so you could hear that comes the string runs and it, I think it, I, I really I really love how the BML Sable 3 uh, sound it's uh, it's impressive <laughs> Seriously? 
Oh, there's something wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, that was not the run patch. It's, uh, I need to... This is the run patch. <laughs> I think it sounds very good, uh, those runs. It's me playing now. fantastic and here comes the really nice thing it's this uh, solpanto uh, tremolo uh, it's so it's so bernard herman i really love it here. it's so sore it's so i, I really love it So let's move on. Here comes the rest. This is the regular sable stuff. Uh, oh shit, I need that. I think it's fifth hand though. To make it more sore. As you could see, I also have um, three. Uh, I have made it so it's more of an ensemble patch uh, so f four it's four eight twelve players uh, I could maybe I should add s some more to the violins to get it more fast but anyway here's the ostinato <laughs> I always play my stuff in live. Um, I think I've said that before. This is with the. Uh, let's take everything. Put it here. <laughs> the typical epic trailer stuff. Yeah. It's uh, I think it's uh, a bit boring to make uh, 
make it. Uh, this is uh, the BML horns. Uh, I have, I have to say, I use the solo horn from uh, speed, from uh, sample modeling, uh, just to double it because uh, it's a bit thin. <laughs> chords And here's the BML low brass. <laughs> it's quite it's that's easy. Boom boom. Yeah, they are also quite good. Like low brass uh, passages, just the use of tuba and the cymbasso A2, and you play chords with the cymbasso, uh, makes it very, very awesome. I use the cymbal uh, from the percussion uh, redux. <laughs> with the mod wheel. I find it uh, very easy to play with. Uh, and the choirs, they are from, uh, I think it's uh, Requiem. sound pretty good. This is not the Godzilla hit, it's uh, ambient hits. It's the ambient hit, so that was wrong. Uh, what more? Yeah, this is the epic doll. time peak uh, we could try uh, to, to get them here
trans uh, transpose it uh, one uh, one down. Uh, I think uh, often uh, what when you do that, uh, you get you get uh, the, the typical uh, epic uh, trailer stuff by trans transposing. You could see I could try now and uh, transpose. The the strings is from Albion. They are just doubling uh, the Sable strings just to get a more fatter sound. Uh, yes. So what we could try now is this. Haha, <laughs> I found something. This is right. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. Anyway, you could hear. So, I'm going to try something. You could hear. As you can see, I, I transpose it down. And this is, I think, this is, um, yeah, the bass is just played in. So, what I often do, uh, if I do it uh, fast now, you could hear how more epic it gets. Uh, only to transpose it upwards. So this is it. it. sound quite good uh, so but I'm not going to keep it but you could um, experiment with transpose just to see uh, what kind of feel it brings to what you see <laughs> The choirs goes through the SSL just to bring it, uh, bring in some more air. I also take it uh, very large ca cathedral uh, to even get it more wet and to the AP. I love the AP. Uh, and you can see I uh, use uh, the frequency pass from uh, waves uh, to really look at where the conflicts in frequencies. Uh, also the sable, uh, all the sable strings, I use a bus compress compressor uh, from the AP. 
and the percussion it's um, the modulated the Fairchild compressor and on the drums uh, I had uh, the uh, AP but it didn't sound so nice uh, so I went to the CLA-2A and that sounded quite good you can hear uh, sorry I'm muting myself all the time So, if I turn it off, you could hear. There's a significant uh, difference. <laughs> the low brass. And the cut. The low ends. That's... Uh, the reason why I cut the low ends, it's... Uh, because when I use a lot of uh, hits and uh, epic uh, like trailer hits, you need you don't want to have all these conflicts. Of course, I could take a sidechain uh, compressor on it, so they uh, uh, so it puts down the low brass or or every low sections. But um, I think it's easier and the mix sound more cleaner when you take it down. Uh, and that's the same for the strings, I take down uh, 4k and it's always a problem between two, 200 and 250. Uh, let's see, it's more here, yeah, and the same goes here, it's always a problem and that's because of the room. If you see how much uh, I take down the BML horns here, you see. So let's just listen to the horns. Let's just listen to the horns. And I take them off. Because you need that ear to bring in other instruments. The brass, the horns will sound as they should sound, even even though you took down some uh, low, uh, the mid range, uh, quite, it looks quite drastic, but it's, it's what works. And what works is the keeper. Here is the FX, uh, the 2CB2, super tap, the tape delay. It's uh, awesome. You could go in, you could do your own stuff, left, right, left, right. You could do a mono section. I really like it. Um, I also have this uh, R uh, reverb from Ren Renaissance Reverberator and the Fab Filter. Uh, I use the Fab Filter on uh, my Omnisphere patch. The um yeah, that was. I tried to. Let's just increase the noise. Full screen. There, I need to find. There, uh, holy, holy cow, mal. There. boring to listen at but if you listen now it sounds more uh, more alive uh, I also um, um, I think it's some percussion here I think it's no it wasn't uh, I don't remember is it the bass Yeah, it's the bass. I use a tap delay on the bass. It's this one. Uh, that's because 
it hits with it. Sorry, um, I can't press F8 while I'm doing the Cam Studio stuff. It's a pain in the ass. But anyway, um, if you see here, this is a perfect, a really perfect moment to do. Uh, <laughs> right before here, uh, what I've been thinking of. As I often do, I uh, do some uh, stutter effects and something like that. And if you if you could try it now, I could show you. I'm going to load up. There, and we are going to. going to isotope as you could see I, ta I took it in the orchestra uh, main channel uh, where are you here so that's this is just nothing I'm going to keep but um, you get the ID <laughs> adjust it even more uh, fun with numbers <laughs> quite good because there's also a major hit coming BAM when it turns black so it's a keeper um, so I'm going to try a bit more So you could keep keep on going uh, with this stutter edit. Uh, you you could do you you us squeeze. <laughs> I'm not going to keep this because uh, I need to 
think it through before. But I'm just showing you the possibilities. So, uh, yeah. Isn't that lovely? It's so alive. Um, it's only on everything from Spitfire. It's only the Deca Tree patch because uh, if I load up everything, uh, it's way too much. I run. Um, I think it's everything here and uh, uh, except play and Omni Spare runs through SSD. Uh, as my system looks right now, I think it's like this. So I, st I got uh, 32, so I could even load up more, but it's uh, it's my CPU, it's the problem. That's the problem. So anyway, uh, I'm going to end this now. Um, so I hope you had fun watching um, and to look at uh, how I work quite regularly. So take care, bye.